so hi all so today we are going to see uh, <coughs> about your roles and civil roles so what exactly and civil roles so it is exactly same of your playbooks but there are multiple playbooks will be there okay mm -hmm. so it's quite complicated compared to your playbooks so anyways i'll explain the concept okay what do you mean by ansible playbook here so <coughs> let me explain what do you mean by ansible uh, sorry ansible roles okay so it's almost similar to your playbooks so we have done with your playbooks so i'll explain the ansible role <coughs> so roles are nothing but the multiple playbooks we can push simultaneously so what we were doing till now guys if you remember we have started with ad hoc command right so we are yeah. what do you mean by ansible ansible is a push technique right push technology yeah yeah but pavan ansible is a yes yes push ansible is a push push technology okay so ansible is a push technology technique okay so where you need to push your command to your agents correct hmm. and you are communicating through ssh correct so we have started with your <coughs> we have started with your ad hoc command then we have moved on to playbooks okay now we are talking about ansible roles so ansible roles are nothing but here multiple playbooks will be there like what we have done uh while uh, uh, just simply installing your vsftpd service right or just if you are uh, uh, deploying your uh, tomcat server okay or you are <clears throat> on top of your that you are deploying your application so that is just a single playbook but in here case but in this case what we are going to do is we are going to use multiple we are going to use multiple playbooks okay so that playbooks are predefined playbooks we we no need to write those playbooks okay so we need to download those playbooks from the uh, ansible site okay so again i'll explain this one what do you mean by ansible uh, sorry uh, roles so ansible roles are nothing what happened so ansible roles are nothing but multiple playbook we can for same time multiple play books we can push Books. at same time then yes see me okay hmm. fine now the next thing is role it has own directory structure role it has own directory structure so how you know like you i have told you if you want to configure your uh, ansible right ansible so there is a directory called slash etc ansible hosts right mm -hmm. but for roles there is a specific file or a directory that is under okay slash etc okay ansible roles so if you go there this is the directory where you need to create your roles okay okay fine so this is the default directory for roles so when you install ansible by default this directory will be created okay now the next okay. point role have already the syntax we need to give the value so role it has already the syntax so you no need to uh, you no need to think that a uh, host will, like what we we were doing in playbook right we need to give the syntax play hosts become become user task under task name then your modules mm -hmm. no here no need to do anything so this is very much important point in roles roles have already have the syntax we no need to give the value so as a next point i'll write it down here okay so <coughs> roles okay have already predefined syntax syntax we have to provide the value you just need to provide the 
values okay okay fine guys so the hmm. next point is role means task it has syntax okay means obviously so roles means it has a task right inside that one and that has a syntax so under that one you have handlers also right hmm. so roles are what means these are the multiple playbooks so if you open any playbooks there will be a handler there hmm. will be a task correct hmm. that's what we were doing so here for each and everything you will be getting e individual playbooks see what we have done till now if i'll take you through here okay you will understand better okay guys so cd playbook okay just do ls okay just do cat playbook mm. so here what we were doing till now so there is something called task there is something called handler there is something called notify so these are what these are the individual playbooks will be getting in roles for there will yeah. be a separate separate main dot yml something dot yml conf dot yml so there will be a, so multiple playbooks will be there so you just need okay. to change the values that's it that is the concept of your roles so again roles okay. means task it has syntax handler it has syntax under the syntax okay. we need to give the value that is called roles roles understand my point manranjan yeah, yeah okay it. so <clears throat> what you need to do here is so ansible it has ansible galaxy okay so as i said clearly now you understand what do you mean by roles so there is a linking between this roles and this galaxy okay so what we need to do is mm -hmm. ansible there is something called <clears throat> ansible galaxy like you have docker hub right you have github right so there is something called yeah. ansible galaxy ansible galaxy okay so if you click on this ansible galaxy okay you need to first log in you need to create a account under this one okay then search for tomcat if you search for tomcat here okay so you are getting something tomcat and civil role correct this is build mm -hmm. this is passing this is build this is failing right so it will uh, roles we can directly pull from the ansible galaxy understanding okay. my point so this like tomcat yes so so instead of you it's these are the these are developed by some uh, so these are the separate playbooks only and these are built by mm -hmm. some uh, uh, like a user of this ansible galaxy like docker file right we can customize mm -hmm. so here only we can download this some one of any of this file and you can copy inside mm -hmm. which directory you can copy here cd uh, ansible okay cd etc ansible roles roles here you need to copy and you need to just put the values if you want to perform that operation but while executing it's very difficult for each and everything you need to change the value okay so that's because mm -hmm. like main.yml file will be there okay so like that multiple files you'll be getting okay so just see this one if you go here okay if you so you need to create a account first okay so guys you can download it from here and you can perform the same same way it's if you want to execute it then execute with the help of ansible only same way only you need to execute 
playbook command only you need to use okay but it will be a individual playbook for each and every uh, operations understanding my point okay. but for simply okay. tomcat you have multiple playbooks so it's it it is more complicated compared to playbooks if you go for playbooks that is more easier so nobody is mm -hmm. going with roles because these are that customized one you can write down you can write it down your own playbook and you can deploy right <laughs> which mm -hmm. is more easier <clears throat> manranjan tell me dot it uh, that uh, playbook playbook part yes yeah. okay so <clears throat> guys just try it out so ansible galaxy you understand what is ansible galaxy correct yeah that is a predefined it is a global some... yeah it is a global, global repository for your ansible roles you can hmm. say ansible galaxy is nothing but it's a global repository for your roles so from where you can hmm. download your roles and you can <laughs> execute it in your instance or in your uh, controller correct yeah okay so guys thank you for watching so this is all about your ansible role ansible galaxy and we have done with your configuration management tool that is your ansible okay